Hey guys, what's happening? So, stoked. A new power supply just came in. So, one of the issues I was having was uh, I was doing some amp testing and I didn't really have a power supply, at least on my desk, that I could test um, my amps with, my CB amps. So, this is a KL203. And I'm already running a 30, uh, or 30 amp power supply that runs my uh, Palomar TX100 and the radios up here, but I needed something I could actually test on my bench. Um, so I saw this on, I was actually going to, I was in the process of building one, and it actually got to the point where it was more expensive for me building one than just buying one. So this is a Pyramid PSV 500, it's like 84 bucks plus tax, it's about 90 bucks shipped. Prime, Amazon Prime. Um, link down below, but um, all right. So this is bigger than I thought. So pile. Let's just look at this mic stuff. Okay, it's pyramid part of pile. Um, okay, Amazon. My light's not very good in here, but this is definitely not a pa small power supply. Um, actually, what's funny is that it looked like it was smaller in the picture. So this is this is pretty big. So I'm gonna find a spot on my test bench here where to put it, but. He has amp gauge, voltage gauge, it's, it's variable. But yeah, actually this looked a lot smaller in the picture, so... I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing. You know, I don't know why they put USB things on, the, on these big power supplies. Like, I'm not gonna be charging my, my phone with this thing, or powering something with this thing. Um, because I'm gonna have to turn the power supply on to charge this thing. And I'm only getting two amps, so I might as well just get like, a different power connector. Um, so one of the things I was concerned about was this right here. Is I kind of wanted a banana plug, so I might swap these out with bananas. I do actually have some banana, or something like that, maybe bigger ones or something, because I do actually have. What I was saying is I do actually have some banana plugs here, um, because I'd like to be able to stick stuff in the front of it, you know, and plug it in. All right, well let's make that back at center. Um, well, let's fire it up and see if it works. I mean, this would have been nice if it was backlit. Let me look in the box here and see if it's... Oh, so there is a LED on and off switch backlight. Is it on the back? Let's see. Yeah, it would be nice to have this thing backlit. Yeah, so Where is the up to it? So right now I'm getting 13.62 volts, but there is an adjustment knob here. So I'm going to make it your typical 13.8, which is most... I mean, basically, you're emulating as a car alternator, a car running 13.8, you know? You know, anywhere from like 13 to 14, like 2 or 4, you know? Yeah, if you're running over 14 volts, you could you could hurt the, uh, if you're running like a lead acid battery. All right, so just six screws on the side. So what I'm hoping for is this thing is not just some small PCB in here, in this big faux case. Um, yeah, that would be kind of disappointing out there. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. I feel like I got my money's worth. <laughs> uh, where's that switch? Where's the LED switch? What are they talking about? Um, all right, got some pretty big filter caps. Obviously, it's not linear it's switching. Okay, probably a lot of MOSFETs in the back or power transistors. Um, it's your timing circuit. Okay, I don't feel like I've. Uh, you know, I think this is, I mean, it looks, I guess, very well. I mean, the wire looks thick, and, and you know, here, and so, okay, I don't feel so bad now. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, well, I was hoping it wasn't going to be some tiny PCB. You know, they have this big, because I actually have a lot of electronics like that, where there's, you know, like, a tiny PCB, but then a big case. Because I'm actually running out of room on this test bench, and I was like, I need to, space is important to me. Alright, so, yeah, still haven't found the switch, but the capacitors are, I haven't never heard of that brand before, KSG. They're kind of colored like Panasonic, like they're trying to be Panasonic capacitors. So I've never heard of, they're called KSG. Let's see here. Yeah, K, no, KSC. You can see that in there. Um... Okay, that's cool. It looks like I can actually add more things to the rail here. Maybe more spots to add more devices if I wanted to put maybe something else in here. Some other, maybe if I wanted to put a connection in the back. I might eventually do that, put a connection back here. 
Looks like I have space back there to do that. So I actually might do that. I mean, maybe not right now, the second, but at least I know I have the option. I could actually just put it right here in this bus. You know, that way I can actually have a forward facing and facing one of my amps or something. I guess I should have read that a little more clear. So it's actually LED backlit on and off switch. So it's not the LEDs as far as I know the meters. The meters aren't backlit. I'm, I was looking around for it and I didn't see like a power source for, um, you know, I see the meter, the meter power, but I, I didn't see like a separate thing for a light bulb or an LED in there. So yeah, obviously it's not backlit. So, all right, I'm gonna put the case cover back on. I right, got the amp connected. Power on. Amp is on. Alright, doing 20 watts. Test, 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 test. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I don't really want to put out 25 watts. One, two, one, two. You only put in that. It's only drawn. Not dropping too much uh, power. 28, 28 watts max. Hmm. Here's a better bird's eye view of what I'm doing here. Alright, so that's the amp, that's the amperage, that's voltage. Audio, 66 watts, 65 watts. About 70 peak. About a little bit under 10, probably like 12, 12 amps. 11, 12 amps. Let's try a sideband. I don't know what's up with the sideband on this radio. Audio 55 watts. I don't know if that's. I'm still trying to. I'm still. I still don't even know if I like this meter 100% yet or not. If that's actually a true peak reading, PEP reading. Alright, so this is actually one of the reasons why I got this amp, so I could test multiple devices and just have more power. So this thing must be putting out a lot of juice, actually, on sideband. So let's see. Let's try that again. Uh, about 91. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't actually have a mic gain. This radio. Um, yeah, when I'm on top of the sideband on my McKinley, it's weird, you know, I'm not getting hardly any power. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I would expect it got 200 watts, but cool. Got a new bed supply now. I can test this stuff. Because before I couldn't, get, I couldn't get an accurate test with the. Um, at least I'm getting it fine with that because I have a separate power supply. But I need a power supply here so I could do that or testing. So, all right, it wasn't expensive. It was 84 bucks plus tax. All right, cool.